Now, having been very disappointed that we didn't end up making the wedding dress, I thought it was wonderful that we got what was the next best thing, the going away outfit. When Diana was choosing the outfit in our little studio, she noticed a sketch on the wall and she said, oh, I like the mood of that. And we did some designs for that and we did them with slightly flared skirts, but Princess Diana said, oh, no, no, I want a straight pencil skirt. So she had this lovely idea that it was more sophisticated to have a pencil skirt. I think there is a language of clothes and Diana really got to understand that. You can make a real statement and show what you're feeling at the time. And we had a certain handwriting and sometimes it wasn't the handwriting she was looking for, she wanted something else. So she started to go to other designers. I've always be I believed with, with clothes that the most important thing is that when you see someone in a, in a, a woman in a dress, the, 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 the reaction should be, you look wonderful. It's not what a wonderful dress. The first thing is, you look wonderful. Following from the separation from the Prince of Wales, she decided she wanted to be known as a workhorse rather than a clothes horse. And so she deliberately um, started to dress down. And so Catherine Walker helped create a capsule wardrobe of very simple suits and shift dresses that the princess became known for in the 90s. The Princess of Wales work throughout the 16 years that we knew her uh, changed from being very much a ambassador for the UK to start with. Towards the end of her life, she had carved out a respected position on the world stage through her humanitarian work and working for various charities. She put the issue of landmines right at the top of the international agenda. It had previously been a security issue and she made it a humanitarian issue. In 1997, when Diana visited the minefield in Wambo in Angola, Halo didn't at that time have its logo on any of its body armour. It didn't quite understand the um, significance of branding. Realising a lot of journalists would be coming, Paul Heslop, the programme manager in Angola, spent the evening before the visit cutting up a pillowcase and stenciling on in felt-tip pen the Halo logo. It's 20 years later, when we introduce ourselves to people for the first time, the first thing they say is, oh yes, the Diana picture, or the Diana body armor. She didn't have dinners with ambassadors. She didn't meet um, the president's wife. She met people in um, clinics who had lost limbs. Our work, when we were asked, was to provide designs that performed in different ways. Uh, we felt we were giving her the tools to do the job. 